Hi, your dog. Hi, your dog is sleeping. He's learning how to operate a machine. Dan O'Connor of Hydro Armor Systems. I've been a contractor in the state of New Jersey since 1977. Over 35 years of hands-on experience. For many years I've been doing videos to educate a customer about the hows and whys of basement waterproofing and structural repair, but also to expose some of the nonsense in this industry. Anytime that you do any kind of foundation repair, on this job, wall is both. You can just put wall pins in or put I-beams up, but that's going to look like there was always a problem with the foundation, if ever you want to sell the house. Anybody goes into a basement and sees a bowed wall, they're leaving the basement and they're going to look at the next house. It depends upon what you want. You just want the wall to be structurally sound, or do you want it to be perfect wall and never have any problems in the future? On this job, we're not completely taking out the wall. We dig out a trench on the outside because the wall is bowed. That gives us an area where it's easy to push the wall back. We have the house lifted and properly supported. If you do a job like this and you don't lift the weight of the house up, when you try to pull the wall out, the whole wall could fall in, the house could fall down, and everybody dies. Keep that in mind when shopping for the lowest bit. Once we get the wall back in place, we install wall pins, keep it braced, let it set up, and then backfill. And a wall that once had a bow in it, when you go to sell the house, that foundation wall looks as perfect as the day it was built and the house is always going to be structurally sound and you will not have any problems. Okay, it's not just the basement waterproofing where guys cut corners and I want to say that they don't do things right. They just really don't know why things need to be done so therefore they don't do them the way they should be done. Now once upon a time, somebody tried to fix this from the outside and they didn't put any rebar in there. What they decided to do was to just break some holes out here and pour some concrete down in as though it's going to hold it, which it didn't. The wall continued to move. We can see all of this here. This is all movement. And so what we have to do now is we have to crack it because they actually put the concrete in so the wall is crooked. This wall was bowing in and it had to be brought back out. So now this wall is straight and level and now this is leaning out. There's a lot of people that really think that they can fix something and they can't. This pouring concrete down into the hollow cores without any kind of rebar, that's does nothing 